All right, we are back. We are back. And I want to welcome you guys to day number four of our 30K in 90 days, 90 day run. All right. And today's session, you want to call it, I want to call it a lesson, I guess. I guess it could be a little lesson. But in today's session, we're going to be talking about how to get your business discovered. One of the biggest challenges, right, that I've seen with people starting online businesses or even some apprehension about starting some online businesses is they can't figure out in their mind how they are going to get people to buy from them. In other words, they don't know how they're going to get people to see what they have because they're saying, I don't have a social media following. I don't have an audience. People don't respond to my post or my Instagram or my Facebook or my YouTube. People are not engaging, right? Um, and so we're going to talk a little bit tonight about how the very first step, the very first step that's required in order for you to start getting exposure to your business. All right. So before we jump right in, just so you guys know, if you don't know, my name is Tracy Walker. I am um, a very active baseball mom. I'm a documented seven-figure earner here inside of the network marketing space as well as affiliate marketing. All right. Um, I am what I would consider a master recruiter. Um, I've been able to learn some skills and learn some tricks of the trade from some very, very, very smart, masterful, expert marketers um, who have taught me over the years how to do a little bit of what I'm going to talk to you today about, right? We're not really recruiting, but one of the concepts that is very, very vital in recruiting pertains to getting your business exposed, okay? So we're going to talk about that. Um, and Last but not least, I am a home business or I'm a business uh, automations expert. What that really means is that I found a way over the years, primarily since 2008. I've been in this game since 2008, full time, right? Um, I've learned how to use the computer systems, automations, different things to help do the heavy lifting for me in my business, right? I mean, if you've ever gone to the grocery store and... Um, like for tonight, for example, I literally, we just got Instacart tonight, right? Now, some people would say, oh, you can't shortcut the process. Okay. But there's a service called Instacart <laughs> and I can, I can not go to the grocery store and still get groceries, right? I can. That is not a, some type of uh, bait and switch. That's not some type of, um, you know, marketing ploy to get somebody to do something. I literally can get my groceries done and have the groceries without going to the grocery store. It's because I can use a system, a service, in this case, an app. It's an app that allows me to have somebody else go do all the heavy lifting, all that hard work, all that walking up and down the aisle, because I really didn't have time today to do that, gathering everything, bagging everything, paying for it, driving it to my house, bringing it up the elevator, getting it, well, I parked on the third floor, but, you know, getting it to my my floor, getting it to my, my uh, unit, and then getting it in the house, right? Now, do I still have to pay for it? Yes. Do I still have to pick the items that I want on the app so that the person who's going and getting it, they know what to get? Yes. Then when they deliver it, do I still have to bring the groceries in? Or in this case, Josiah brought all the groceries in. He did such an amazing job. He put up all the groceries so that I could do my life. One thing about having a 10-year-old boy at this point, or a 10-year-old young man, right? They they hop right into it, right? Um, and I bought him some strawberry ice cream. So he was just so excited. Mom, thank you for my strawberry ice cream. See. Yeah, I know what to do. Okay. Anyway, side star, sidebar. Um, so then bring the groceries in, and from there we can put them up. But I didn't have to go. That's called a system. That's called a tool. That's called leverage. And I like leverage in my life, right? Because I want to do other things. I want to spend more time with my son. I want to go to everything he needs me to go to, or I need to be at, or where, however and wherever I can support him. I want to be that present type of mom. So my time is very important to me, and I'd rather not be slaving over an internet business, right? So all that to say, I've mastered how to use that stuff, and that's why you're here. Because if you didn't see day three. Or was it day two? Day two, I think it was. Our proven process, proven sales process. Do you want to go back and watch day two? Because that's literally where I talk about it. I think I talk about that right there, the sales process. I think so. Okay. So if not day two, day three, don't quote me on it. We're only on day four. So it's only three days before. So it's not that hard to figure it out. Okay. Um, 
So let's jump right into it. Let's talk today about what it takes to get your business discovered, for you to be seen, for when you are out there marketing and you want people to see your link, you want people to buy from you, what are some things that need to happen before a person does that? Now, let's just be realistic, okay? Realistic. Um, people are not, like, you're not going to get on the internet, not have any content, not have anything to say of any value, and just make a post and, and think that people are going to just buy from you, right? Or, you know, spend $300, $600, $900, you know, whatever with you. And they don't even know who you are. They haven't figured out whether they like you or not. Uh, they definitely don't know whether they trust you or not. Okay. And so it takes a little bit of massaging of that. I like that word. It takes a little bit of massaging of that conceptually so that people can start to get used to you because you are consistently in their face. Like there's no better way I can tell it. Like you're in people's face. That's how you have to be. All those commercials that you guys see on your boob tubes, yeah, they're in your face, right? All those ads that pop up when you're watching YouTube or um, any of that games that your kids may have, those in-app advertisements, right? All that stuff, the Netflix, all those advertisements, right? People, businesses that want your business, make it a point to stay in your face. The challenge is with small business, home-based business, it's run by you, an individual. And as an individual, you're not thinking like a business. See, a corporation doesn't have a personal, uh, they don't have a, a they don't have a personal relationship with what's required to run a business. They market, they advertise, that's what they do. When you're running your business, you want to feel a type of way, right? You feel like you don't want to bother somebody or you feel like you're in a person's face too much or you feel like people aren't watching you or you feel like this and you feel like that, right? Like you have too many feelings as it relates to just running the business, which is step one, two, three, and four. So then you don't do certain things because you don't feel like it's going to be helpful or it makes you feel bad or it makes you feel like you're overbearing. Okay. And, and because of that difference, what happens is you keep buying from those big businesses, but none of the people that also could be buying from you do that either. They don't, they don't buy from you because they don't even know you exist. They'll buy from the big business because they're in their face. Y'all see Timu all over the place. Y'all, y'all see the lady, y'all see Sheen all over the place. They don't have a problem getting in your feed. They don't have a problem being in your in your inbox if you opt in. They don't have a problem showing you their ads or show you a problem showing you whatever they have. You have a problem showing what you have, which means you can't make any money. So we got to go back to the drawing board and we got to figure out what are some of the basic things that we need to do first. OK, there's a series of things. There's not just one thing that you need to do to get more exposure. But what I want you to understand is that there's something that I've always called the three M's, okay? I've, I've probably been teaching the three M concept since about 2011 or 12, okay? And it, it is time-tested. It is a principle, which is why it doesn't change. It doesn't matter what the product is. It doesn't matter what the service is. It doesn't matter what any of those things are. The three M's are going to be vital because they are fundamentals in marketing, they're just fundamentals in marketing it has nothing to do with anything other than these are the principles. These are the fundamental things that must take place in marketing. So let me give you the three M's and then we're going to focus on one of those three M's because this is going to be the first step. OK, one of the three M's is called your market. Your market. These are the people that you want to serve. These are the people that you want to help. One of the easiest ways for me that I've shared with people on how to pick their market is to say, who are you? Because you are your market. You are your market. So for example, I am a mom. I'm a single mom. Um, I have to do all the running around, right? And listen, this is not this is not a sob story. I'm just giving you what it is and who I am and what I have to do, meaning that I understand when other people who are just like me show up in my world, I can relate to them. I can relate, right? And it's the relatability that allows you to build relationships, relatability, relationship, right? When you don't have that much relatability, well, then, you know, you kind of struggle, you're on a struggle bus with that. 
So your market, I say the easiest market is yourself. So me, single mom, right? Um, my child plays sports. My child's in school. Um, you know, I work from home. I'm responsible for the bills, the the groceries tonight, right? The getting him to and fro, all his extracurricular, his friends hanging out, sleepover, birthday party, right? All those things. A single parent understands that. So what better person is there for me to talk to than the person that I know the most, the person that I don't have to study, the person that I don't have to go and do research on. I can pull and draw from my own experiences, my own life, my own authenticity. And I can probably say some things and share some things that a person who's similar or just like me can relate to. So the M would be your market. Who should be your market? My recommend, if you're listening to me, my recommendation for your market should be you. Who are you? And you want to find other people just like you. Okay. Let's just start there with that. That's the first M. The second M, which we are going to kind of um, dive into the premise of this, this session, this training is message. So once you have a market, you got to have a message. Okay. Now, where marketing goes wrong, where your marketing fails, where things go left, sideways, off the rails is when you have a message that your market doesn't care about. Your market. Now, you could be looking at someone else, market their business on their wall, and you see their wall blowing up with comments, blowing up with um, likes or hearts or shares or whatever the currency is, right? And then, but you might not know who their market is. So then you can try to take what they said, put it on your wall, and you have a totally different market than that person, and it fails. It's an epic fail for you. It's not because of what was said didn't work. It's because of what was said did not resonate with your market. That message meant nothing to them. That message did not move them in any way to have them scoot up closer to the desk or get closer to their phone or really say, you know what, let me tune, let me pause this over here and let me watch this video. Let me, you know, listen to what is being said here. You have to have a message that resonates with that market. OK, we're going to talk about that. But the final M would be now your medium. Your medium is the method by which you're going to reach your audience or your market with the message. So, for example, I'm on Facebook right now. I'm on YouTube right now. Right. You're watching this in various different places. I know that the people that I'm looking for, let's say uh, people that are entrepreneurs, people that want to make money online, people that are single parents, people that just want to add more income into their household. I know that over the years, I've built up an audience, a market of people who want to do that, who want to make money, who want to create some additional streams of income. And therefore, I choose Facebook and I choose YouTube as my medium. Why? Because, well, for one, just it makes good sense. Google is the number one. OK, YouTube is number two and Facebook is number three. So I'm doing content. So I'm not going to be on Google. Right. Unless I'm doing like articles and stuff, but I'm doing social content. So two and three, YouTube and Facebook are the next best things. That's where all the people are. You can pretty much get all the people with YouTube and Facebook. Right now, that doesn't mean you have to choose that. You could choose TikTok if you want to. You could choose Instagram if you want to. You could choose Threads if you want to. You could choose uh, X, which used to be Twitter, if you want to. I'm not here to tell you which one to choose. I'm here for it to tell you that you need to figure out where your audience is. If your market is over on X, then you need to be on X. If your market is on Instagram, you need to be on Instagram. If your market is on YouTube, Facebook, you need to be on YouTube and Facebook. OK, so your market, your message and your medium. Now, let's talk about getting exposure. Getting exposure is really about crafting. The most congruent message that you can. That's where it starts. If your message is um, watered down or. If your message is questionable, in other words, when people read what you write or uh, watch what you say, if they are questioning in their minds, I wonder if this is for me. Well, who is this for? 
Well, I wonder if it helps me. Well, when am I going to know if it helps me? If they're asking those types of questions in their own mind, they're confused. OK, and if they're confused, a confused mind says what? It says no. A confused mind says no. So you want to be clear with what it is that you are saying. Now, for example, if you're having a conversation with a friend and a friend says something and you're not clear, you you have the space there to ask, what did you mean? Right. And you hope that the person can tell you what they mean. But you have that space there to at least ask that question. But when you're doing a YouTube video or you post something on social media, the person may or may not feel the relationship is close. The connection is close enough to ask you, well, what do you mean? Well, who are you talking to? Right. And all this different this, this and a third. So they will just go away if it's not clear. So it is your job as the business owner in the field of marketing to make sure that the message is clear. So what should be your message? Well. Let's start with the basis of your story. Let's start with the basis of your story. Remember, because I believe that your market, especially at the very beginning, if you're brand new, especially, right, or you're newer to this, if you're advanced, if you are an expert and you know how to, you know, you're you, but you know how to reach a whole nother group of people because you understand that, I want you to still do that because you know what you're doing. But if you don't know what you're doing, the best thing that you can do is go through the path of least resistance. The path of least resistance is you know yourself. You know your challenges. You know your obstacles. You know the things you've had to face. You know your, your um, accomplishments. You know your highs. You know your lows. You know all the things that make you tick. You know these things. You know these things. And you don't have to think about them. You just know them because they're you. Inherently, they're you. So crafting a message is what what is your basis basic story, right? So if I think about me, right, my basic story um, as it relates to this part of my life right now, as I'm sharing with you, right, I'm sharing with you that I'm at a point in my life where I'm really not into building large teams right now, okay? I'm not. I've done that before. I've built teams of 20, 30, 40, 50,000 people before. I've traveled all over. I've supported teams. I've done team trainings and team webinars and team masterminds. We've rented out mansions. We've put together, you know, workshops and leadership retreats. We've traveled to Jamaica. We've traveled to all types of places in the country, out the country, building teams and having a lot of people. And it's leveraged work because it's network marketing, right? But with my son being 10 and, you know, him moving and shaking a little bit more, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want that responsibility. I don't want to be on a Zoom every day. I don't want to have to, oh, let me get on here and, and do a getting started training with all these new people that just, I don't want to have to do a Zoom doing a presentation. I don't want to. I'm not saying that it doesn't work. I'm not saying that it, you shouldn't do it. I'm saying, I'm telling my story, right? I'm saying I'm at a point in my career where I've done that. And I don't want to do that anymore. I want a little bit more leverage in my life. I want more automation. I want my business to be able to run for me while I'm driving to take my son to school and when I'm driving back and when I drive to go pick him up and then when I'm driving back, when I'm driving to baseball, while I'm at the game, while I'm at practice, while we're going to get something to eat in between there, while I'm taking him to his friend's house, while we're at batting practice. What I want to have the freedom to not have to be like, I got to get back. I got to meet that eight. I got to get back. I got to meet that nine. Come on, Josiah, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I got to be over here. I got to be over there. I got to, I don't want to do it anymore. So for me, I want more of an automated business lifestyle where I don't mind doing the work like what I'm doing right now. I'll do a live. I'll post content. I'll share things on social media, but I don't want to be tied to my computer all day, every day, right? That's where I'm at. Therefore, I know the premise is time freedom and money freedom, right? Time freedom and money freedom. So because that's the premise of what I'm after, then the message that I would create would also be in alignment of time freedom and money freedom. That's it, right? So if I were going to do a post, I, I might say something in a post like, listen, if 
you're at a point where you're looking for a way to supplement your income, but you just you just aren't feeling getting on Zoom two and three and four times a week, right? You just do not want to invite people to a presentation and they have to sit there for an hour or you're just sick and tired of inviting people and then they can't come to the presentation because of whatever reason. You're sick and tired of having to, then if you did you know, get people on your team, now you're tired of trying to have to train them on how to get people onto their team because that ultimately supplements your income, right? So not only can you just do what you do, now you got to teach people to do what you do, which no biggie over here. It's just a matter of if you want to do it or not. And that's what I would be saying in my post. So if you're looking for a way to create additional streams of income without the hassle of being on Zoom every day, without having to get, you know, bug your friends and family to join this new thing, without having to pay an auto ship or pay monthly for products and services that you may or may not be using, uh, right? Those types of things, then go ahead and click right here to learn more, right? You get the gist, right? The message though is time freedom. The message is the person is reading that or they're listening to me say that and they're like, oh yeah, I don't want to do that. I'm sick of doing that. Oh yeah, I don't want to talk to my friends and family, right? Now there's going to be a segment of population that are going to be thrilled to do that. And here's the key. You're not talking to them. So anybody who doesn't resonate with your message is not your market. And you have to be OK with that because you're going to have a better chance of earning an income, making sales by working with the people that are your market anyway. Not by fighting with, fussing with, trying to convince the people who are not your market. Right. I'm, I'm a very I'm very big on alignment of things. Right. If you're aligned, you're aligned. If you're not, you're not. OK, so your message is the number one thing. It's the first thing that you want to do to work on, to craft so you can start to have your business be seen, because if you're not saying things like. Are you a single parent looking to earn an additional income online? That's the message. If you said that, then a person who that resonates with, who hears that, that says, yes, I'm a single parent. Yes, I'm looking to make additional income online. That person's, their ears are now perked up. If you just start talking about how great whatever it is that you have is and how much it costs and what the back office look like and what the shipping time is and the ingredients in it and the curriculum. And the, like if you just start going to that, a person is like, well, what? Well, how does this benefit me? Right. How does this help me? And you never got to that because you lead with the message. You lead with the message. You have to have an understanding of who the market is. And then you lead with the message and you lead with the message over and over and over and over. You might rephrase it. You might put this part first and this part that was first might be second. You might switch things up in the chronology of how you do things. But overall, you are essentially going to be saying the same freaking thing over and over and over and over and over because there's always new people coming into your market. Today, there's somebody who uh, is not a single mom, but tomorrow, tomorrow, by golly, somebody might be a single mom. Something took place and today they're the single mom. You, get, you understand that there's always new people coming. So the fact that you said it last week the person who just became the single mom didn't hear that. So if you're going to be out here in these internet streets, then you've got to repeat yourself over and over and over. But you've also got to be in the mind space that there are new people entering the market and or there are old people that are in your market that are just new to hearing what you have to say. Maybe somebody shared a post. Maybe you ended up on their algorithm. They don't even know how they came into contact with you. Maybe they typed something into YouTube and then you popped up some kind of way and they started going through your stuff and they kind of ended up all around about and ended up on your stuff. Like you don't always know how the most high divinely connects all of the, the ends, the pieces together. You might not know that. That's not our job to know that. Our job is to speak our message to our market 
using the proper medium consistently enough such that people begin to know who we are, right? They begin to like or not like who we are. And we don't care if they don't like us because if they don't like us, they're not our market. We're okay with that. They are polarized away from you. Fantastico. They're never going to buy from you anyway. So they know who you are. We're going to go with the the right people like who you are and through your consistency, through your messaging, saying the same thing in different ways, in different angles, from on top of the building, from underneath the building, from on the boat, from on the airplane, from in the airport, right? Like people are going live, what people are saying the same basic thing, just from different backgrounds, different areas, different countries, a different device. I'm on a computer, but I might be on my phone, right? I'm saying the same exact thing overall. I've been saying this. If you go back to my YouTube videos from 2008, 2009, I have been saying the basic same thing all this time. This is why people know who I am in my market. The new people don't know who I am yet, but they will. This is why the people, because in my authenticity, the people who do like me, they like me. The people who don't like me, screw them. It's simple. The people who don't like me, screw them. I don't care. That's how that works. Okay. And then the people who know me and like me enough, eventually we will grow to a trust me. And it's through the trust that a person will say, you know what? I'm getting ready to buy. I'm getting ready to buy. And that's how it works. Now I'll give you a real live example. A real, real, real life example. I can't get any more real time than just maybe about an hour and a half ago. So I spent some time today and I took my stories that I had done a couple days ago, day one of the 90 day, um, 90 day run. And, you know, in the stories, their stories disappear. And I said, you know what? That was some really good content. And I had several people DM me from my stories to say, oh my goodness, this is great information. I don't see how anybody could not join you because of the information that you're sharing, right? And so it kind of reinforced that there was value in what I was sharing. Now I knew there was value in what I was sharing, but when the market tells you that they got value in what you were sharing, you need to listen. So because I had that, I went back to my stories, to my archives, and I downloaded that those seven stories or so. And because I'd done them on my phone, they were vertical. So I downloaded them. I went over to InShot, which is like a video editing. And I imported all seven of those stories in order into InShot. I put a little pink background so that the sides, right? So because it's a vertical video, these the outside thirds of the um of the screen would be black so i put a little colored background back there and i put some words on there about the 90 day run and i put day one on there right and i made it a video where it just it just strung all those seven stories together so it's about seven minutes seven minutes and 30 seconds and i made a one i made one video of it and i posted it on my facebook and i posted it on my youtube there was a lady who I haven't spoken to probably in, I don't know, at least maybe two or three years, right? I know her because when I was a million dollar earner in a previous company, we went to Costa Rica before. And she was my roommate in, I think it was called, yeah, in Costa Rica. That had to be 2011 or maybe 2012, Costa Rica, right? I met her back then. She was my roommate. Years have gone past. We've stayed in contact here and there. We've chatted on the phone here and there. Lo and behold, the lady sees my video. She DMs me today. And she says, hey, Tracy, I saw your video about, you know, the program that you're working with. And I wanted to know when would be a good time to talk with you. And I said, any time would be good after you go here and check out all the details in the video overview and on the page, because that's where everything is broken down. She said, okay, I'll check it out and I'll give you a buzz when I'm done. She went, she did that. She came back. She sent me a couple of voice messages on my DM. I sent her a couple of voice messages back. 
very good. Then she goes, oh, maybe it'd just be easier. Can I give you a call? So she called me on Messenger. We talked for a little bit. She's in Canada. We talked for a little bit. And she says, okay, well, this is what I'm going to do. I'm Go ahead. I'm going to, it's dinner time here in Vancouver. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to fix some food. I'm going to eat. And I'm going to go ahead and get signed up. I said, fantastic. I look forward to working with you. So let me ask you, what did the heavy lifting for me? It was when I sent her to my website where she watched the video and she went through the sales page information that gave her all the details. I didn't have to sell her. I didn't have to get on a Zoom and tell it to her. I didn't have to pull up a PowerPoint or a keynote and go through the whole thing and take an hour and a half while I'm trying to order Instacart and all this type of stuff, right? I didn't have to do any of that. I just said, go here, watch this. Give me a shout back. She did. We sent two or three messages in voice, which was like 50 seconds. That's not much time. And we speak on messenger, uh, the phone messenger, whatever it was, maybe about five or six, maybe eight minutes. I don't know. Why though? Why is she ready to buy from just that short interaction? Because over time, I have been saying the same thing over and over and over and over. She has watched me repeat myself for 10 years, 13 years. She's watched me repeat myself. She clearly knows who I am. We were roommates in our uh, in our suite in Costa Rica. Um, she uh, obviously likes me because we communicate and she reached out and said, I've watched her video. And then apparently she trusts me because of the consistency of my message and the consistency of my own production in the field that I've chosen to be out here on, which is making money online. It's the message. You got to get that message thing together. Okay. So that is what I'm going to leave you with here on today for day number four. The first step in getting your business discovered is to make sure you craft and create a message that resonates with your market. Who is your market? Who are you? What is your message? What is the thing that has you moving forward in business? What is the thing that has you excited about doing whatever it is that you're doing? What is it about you? What's your messaging that is the messaging? What's your market? You are the market. OK, now I want you to know that we are running with this 90 day run. Today is day number four. And what we are looking to do is help as many people as we can and put them in position where they can really start to attract some abundance into their life and into their business in the form of what we are calling 30K in 90 days. It is not a guarantee. It is not a promise. What it is, is a goal. What it is, is a lighthouse. What it is, is something that you can work towards, but not from a nebulous perspective. Things very specific like this, which is what I am sharing with you, is how we are going to get there. Now, the only way that you are going to be able to benefit 1000% from what I'm saying and be able to have the ease the automations, the systematic approach, the teachings, the education, the support, the tutorials, all the things that I have access to is that you too must become a member of the program, of the legacy program. And so right below this video or right above this video, depending on what platform you're watching it on, you probably see a link. You'll want to go ahead and click that link and you either want to get more information on the challenge, which is going to take you to a YouTube video where it is all broken down. And in the description of that YouTube video, you will see the link where you can get the details, just like I gave my girl an hour and a half ago. If you want the details for the link right now, in other words, you don't need to go and watch the full blown overview on how the 90 day run is working. You just want to kind of get started, then reach out to me. You can DM me. You can leave a reply here. You can comment. You can do whatever you want to do. I will get you the link directly if you kind of want to bypass that. But if you just go ahead and click the link inside of this description, then it will take you to the other video. And the link is in the vid in the description of that video.
Either way, you can have access to it. You're not left alone. You can get more information either way. But you definitely want to plug in. And you want to plug in sooner than later. We're on a 90-day run. You don't want to watch me for 40 days, okay? You want to get going now. This is day four. You want to get going yesterday, day three. You want to get going day five, okay? So that now you've got 85 more days to get put this plan in action so that the reality of you making at least $10,000 in a 30 day period of time becomes more realistic. You don't want to join the challenge on the 88th day because now you got two days. The rest of us would have made 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, hundred thousand dollars. I don't know. It depends what everybody's goal is. But I'm setting the stage for you that you understand the value that we are bringing to the table in these 90 days. And I don't want you to just learn with me. I want you to earn with me. You have to learn to earn. So I'm giving you the foundation. I'm giving you the basic principles. Now you're going to join me in a 90 day run. And now you're going to be implementing and executing these things from a much more um congruent perspective because now you're going to have access to the training. You're going to have access to the program. You're going to have access to the funnels, the sales processes, the program. You're going to have access to everything. Right now you're looking at me, you're listening. That's good. But don't let your good stop you from being great. Even better, outstanding. Don't let your good stop you from being great. Better yet, let's focus on being outstanding. OK, so go ahead. Join me on the 90 day run. Click on the link somewhere around this video to get the details on how the how the challenge is working, how you can get plugged in and get started with me. Take today's training session. And even if you are in a different business doing a different thing, I'm telling you your message, you craft that thing out and you get it together. Baby, you are going to be in a much better position than if you're just trying to figure it out and guess and throw spaghetti against the wall. That is never the strategy that you want to lead with. You want to have something that is that is sure and proven to work. Focus on your three M's and you're going to be good to go. All right. I hope you guys got some value from that on today. And guess what? I will see you right back here on day five. Tomorrow, day five. We going live. Bye, guys.